Okay, so the first thing I wanted to go over is uh, the test that you have to do before the end of the, uh, the semester. Um, that is an online test. It's available on Blackboard. I'll show you in a second here where it is. Um, it's short answer, 20 questions, <coughs> worth 200 points total. Um, and I'm going to go over what topics are going to be on it here in just one second, as soon as I can pull up the uh, Firefox browser. Okay. So, if you go into Blackboard and you go down to assignments and assessments on the left hand side here um, that's where the test is so you just click there click on management for three 3400 retention of learning test and you can start right there um, like I said it's three hours 20 questions short answer um, I have yet to Valentine, hang on one second I have yet to find anybody that actually needed all three hours to finish it so you should be fine on time it's open book open note and I um, you, it's really important that you review the webinars in particular that uh, that I've put together. I'll go over what what I want you to know from those here in a second. Yes, Valente. Both classes, you to yes. So for those of you who are in both my 3400 and 3450 class, it's the exact same test. You only have to take it once. I'll give you, well, it's worth 200 in here and it's worth 125 in the other class, but I will I will count your test for both classes. You only have to take it once. What if you get a 200? Will it be 200 on both? No, it'll be 125 on the other one. It'll be 100%. Um, yes, Brenda. Huh? Can you keep the highest from either test? Like if we take both? No. Because that gives you practice to take it twice. It's the exact same test. Only take, only take it once. So, for those of you who are in both classes, you only have to take the test once. Um, what is on the test? So, uh, I will tell you now. There are, so if, for very important, in the information section of Blackboard, um, you've got, uh, oh, not the information, I'm not talking about it documents section in the course documents section of blackboard um, you've got a whole bunch of lecture materials one of them is called webinars so definitely open that and watch these webinars you can even have it teed up while you're answering the test um, although you're going to run out of time to take the test if you actually watch the webinar while taking it you want to watch them beforehand and just uh, refer back to them for reference. Um, 
So once this thing finally opens up, I will explain what from which webinar you're going to need to know. Okay, so you've got a Photoshop uh, Photoshop webinar here, up in the, here in the top. There's a couple of questions on the test about Photoshop and that webinar. Um, there's a webinar on Wix. There, uh, there is a question about Wix. There's a webinar on Dreamweaver. There's a couple of questions about Dreamweaver. Um, <coughs> There's a couple of questions in here about market sizing. Make sure to watch the market sizing webinar. Um, there's a question about patent and trademark searches. So that one right here, patent and trademark. Um, there is a question about um, LexisNexis and ProQuest, uh, and that's contained in the uh, best practices. Uh, excuse me, that's contained in the uh, competitor profile searches. I, I have an extra webinar that I put in here for ProQuest and Experian. Um, watch both of those. Um, there's a couple questions on, on competitor research that, uh, that are in here. Um, there's going to be a question about industry research, so make sure to watch the industry research webinar. Um, there's questions about how to do a best practices search on Google, so watch the best practices webinar. Um, there is a pretty detailed question about uh, navigating grant sites, so you're going to want to watch that one. Um, there's a couple different, I, I mentioned patent and trademark already, but there's a couple different questions on that, not just one. Um, there's going to be a pretty involved question about uh, guerrilla marketing. So not uh, in here, but I want you to definitely review my, uh, my lecture slides in particular on guerrilla marketing, okay? So in addition to watching these webinars, you're going to want to be familiar with the uh, guerrilla marketing PowerPoint slides here. Um, you're also going to be want to be familiar with the uh, competitive research uh, slides. And you're going to want to be familiar with the slides for accounting and financial analysis. OK? That if you, uh, if you have covered all of those things before you take the test, you should be well prepared to take it. And you take it online, it's three hours, and you can take it any time between now and uh, next Sunday. So the end of finals week. Yes? The last thing you said. The last thing I said? Yeah. Uh, the accounting and financial analysis slides. So... That's what the test covers. Any questions about the test? You didn't say capital resource and acquisition measure, right? Um, yeah, no, you need to, you need to be you, you need, Yes, I did not say that, but I, you do need to know that. Thank you for bringing that up, Randy. There's a question in there about uh, capital and resource acquisition. Mainly equity. Um, thank you for reminding me of that. Sorry about that. Uh, any other questions about the test? Tricia. Uh, you also want to review the webinar on uh, navigating an angel investor sites, actually, is what you, you're going to want to review. Emma, yes. What's that? Okay. Other questions? Okay. So I will move on from that topic to the next one. 
which is uh, video presentations. How many people in here are comfortable with using video software? Okay, so not, not too many. Um, I, I sent everybody a, a webinar on how to use Camtasia software. Um, I'm going to play that again right now and stop in a couple of places to point things out. Um, and then if worse comes to worse and you can't figure out the Camtasia software, you can always record yourself on video on your phone and just give me a, uh, a thumb drive of each person's recordings uh, as a backup plan. But uh, the Camtasia software is, is, would, would be preferable if you're able to figure it out. So uh, let me pull up the browser again. What's supposed to be in the video? What's that? What, I don't know what that video is about. Um, the, no, the, it's, it's each person in the group records no more than one minute. And it's just the highlights of the business. And then you oh. want us to like mix so and match it as a group video? Yep. Basically, try to Wait, the highlights of the business or like the highlights what of the business? Done? Yeah, so what no. do you mean by highlights? So like what we've done as a whole and what we... If you as a group have five minutes to tell the story of Shout, split up who's going to tell part, what, what part of that story and then tell me in five minutes. When does it do? Uh, by the end of next week as well. The 11th or the 9th? You're talking about Sunday, right? Yes, Sunday. Does that make sense for everybody else? So, no more than five minutes, you're giving me the highlights of the business. What is exciting about this business? What are the financials? What's the product like? Um, who are the customers? What are some interesting things about the industry? Um, who's the competition? Yes, Jen. I would prefer that you add it together. That's why I gave you this. The 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 the. the why I sent out the uh, the, the the thing? Yes. Huh? Uh, it's due by Sunday. So Sunday the ninth, tenth, eleventh. Um, okay, so the webinar on video production. Yes, thank you. Yeah, there, there is actually. It's u2.be. Um, that's how that's how it it, it, it records videos. Yeah, no, thank you for asking. It is correct. No, give her a hard time. Don't let off easy. She should just go. Hello, everyone. This is a brief, brief explanation of how to use Camtasia to record video presentations. First of all, you need to go to Google and download the free trial of the Camtasia software. So to do that, just simply type in Google and type when you're uh you're, you're, I certainly would recommend to everybody that you download the Camtasia software. Technically, only one person in the group needs to download it as long as everybody records your videos on the same machine. Uh, it, you may not, you don't, you don't have to everybody download this, the, the software, but it's it's useful software to have on your laptop. So, yes, Derek, what's up? Yeah, there's a version for Mac and a version for PC in the word Camtasia, free, and you should have a link here saying download Camtasia free trial, TechSmith, 
click there, download the appropriate version for either Windows or Mac, and follow the instructions. Once you have finished installing Camtasia, you'll need to go to your Applications menu and choose All Applications at the bottom of the screen, and then choose Camtasia Recorder 9, first of all, in order to record um, yourself speaking. So important thing to, to note, there's, there's different types of the Camtasia software. When you do the download, it downloads, it downloads all of them for you. One of them is for recording things. The other is for editing the video after you've recorded it. So when you record your videos, you're going to want to do that using Camtasia Recorder. Open that up. When you do, it will look like this. And you'll need to attach the audio and the camera properly by selecting the uh, the appropriate uh, the appropriate toggles on these uh, these two devices. So you you can't see it right now during the recording that I made, but when you first open the Camtasia software, um, there's a little like check mark or or X next to the camera and next to the audio, and uh, if you click on that, it'll give you options to tell Camtasia what hardware to use to record audio and to record video. So you'll need to turn on your webcam in effect and make sure that the audio is recording properly before you start recording. Then you go ahead and keep recording. Once you have set up your audio and your camera properly, um, <clears throat> you can start recording. When you are done recording, you're going to hit stop and then do the following. After you've clicked stop, Camtasia is going to open up a screen that looks like this. You're going to click Finish to accept the fact that you have uh, uh, that you're using the evaluation version of Camtasia. And then you'll notice that the recording you just made comes up as a trek, T-R-E-C file, right here. Once your screen is opened up and you have a Trek file here in the media bin, you'll need to right click on that Trek file, go down to details, and find out where that Trek file is saved. So on my particular machine, it's saved in C colon backslash users backslash Jeremy backslash documents backslash Camtasia Studio, and then the name of the recording. Uh, dot track so so just real briefly to interrupt um, <clears throat> whenever you record video with the Camtasia software it creates a TREC or Trek file um, after you've recorded all those you're gonna wanna open them all up in the editor and make them into one video that's that's what we're going over right here so each Jin yeah no, 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 you're welcome to use other video software if you want, but for those people who didn't know how to use other video software, I wanted to make sure that I gave you some instructions. Of the files that your group members record will be recorded as Trek files. Once you've recorded all the Trek files, you're going to need to go in and compile them into one large video file. And in order to do that, you need to know where to find the individual Trek files. As you can see on my screen here, I now have two Trek files, uh, two different segments of the recording that I've just been making for you all um, that are in my media bin. Now, in order to bring those into the media bin, you simply go File, Open, take that back. That is not the way that you bring in media files. In order to bring in those files, you simply right click in the media bin area of the screen 
and click import media that will give you a chance to bring in all types of media files and you're going to go to the location that uh, you recorded before <coughs> C colon users Jeremy documents Camtasia and so forth and then choose the file. <clears throat> Once you have the files up here <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to drag and drop them down to where it says track two and one. So this one is already sitting here. I'm going to take the second half of the presentation, drag and drop it so that it is here at the end of where the first set of tracks is. And you're simply going to repeat that process for each of the recordings that you make. Once you have all of those recordings, down here at the bottom. So does that make sense for everybody? You're gonna like have a little like file up here for each of the team members in the group and you're gonna drag and drop them each down to, uh, to, to this, uh, this like bar here that says track, track two, track one. Piled into one video file. You're going to click on share, local file, And since you have the trial version, you're going to have to click on Produce with Watermark, which gives you a little watermark on front of the, uh, the presentation, but that's okay. We, we, don't, we don't mind that for our purposes right now. So Produce with Watermark. Then you're gonna, gonna stick with Custom Production Settings and click Next. You're gonna have MP4 highlighted here and click Next. Going to leave all these settings the way they are. Click next again. We're going to click include watermark and click next again. And then you need to decide the name of the project. So we're going to call this um, Camtasia 2 Tutorial and I'm just going to record this for easy memory on my desktop. So that's where I'm going to be able to find the file after I'm done. You have to make sure to tell Camtasia what folder to put the file in and give the file the name that you're going to remember. And then click finish. You'll notice it takes a little while to render the project. You're just going to have to let the uh, the machine run while it does that. You'll see here five percent. It's been about twenty seconds. So, what if we multiply that by twenty? That's four hundred seconds, which is what is four hundred seconds? <laughs> Sixty. Um, it's about six minutes, probably. So. I'm just going to click pause on my recording here and wait until the recording is done. When your recording is finished, you're going to have a screen pop up in HTML saying that your recording is done and giving you the opportunity to click on a record button here. Just close that. Then you're going to see that uh, the Camtasia software has finished. Go ahead and click finish for that. Close your Camtasia software. Just say don't don't save the changes to the project. And then the last step is that you simply need to go to your file explorer, go to the place where you recorded the document. So 
you'll see that there's a folder there, not an individual document. So Camtasia tutorial, there's a folder there. And I want you to grab the MP4 file in that and attach it to an email and send me that email. That is how I want everyone to do their Camtasia projects, their video presentations. So any questions, let me know. Thank you very much. See you later. Yes. Jennifer. Does the video have to be made with Camtasia? Can it be like, can you, if you know how to do it a different way, can you do it your own way? You're welcome to do it another way. Okay. I just need a video file with each of you on it. Okay, so that's that. Um, moving on, um, I've asked all of you to do customer vignettes. I mean, only a couple of groups have done them so far. So just to point out to you what the format that I wanted in, um, I've made a, I put a new document on here called customer vignette. If you open that up, um, it's just a PowerPoint with one page. This is what I want for the customer vignette. It's just a one. It can be in a Word document as well, but uh, uh, Word or PowerPoint. Just fill out this matrix. It's going to look like this. And unfortunately, the machine is dreadfully slow right now, so you're going to have to wait. Was your hand up, Richard? No. Okay. Huh? What, yours pulled up faster than mine? Yeah, I know. Um, so I just want uh, I want a one page for each customer pro the vignette that looks like this. You're going to be just answering these questions about purchase frequency, price point, advertising media competitors, demographics, general impressions, and whether the person you've talked to would like to be included in future future information about actually purchasing the the product. So that's what I want your customer vignette to look like. Um, I've asked a number of you to do competitor profiles. I've also put in here um, the, the, the template for how to do a competitor profile, so I'll open that up for you. Um, just erase what's here and fill this out, uh, talking about your competitor that you, uh, that you are looking at. So if, you guys still, if, I, if, I have, if I've said that I still need a competitor profile from you, this is what I want. Just take that, open that up, and uh, fill it out for, uh, for your competitor rather than uh, the example here. Um, industry research. Some of you I still need industry research from. That is done by going to first research industry profiles. Um, so if I go in here and go to the library website, You're going to go to the CSUB website, then go click on library down there at the bottom of the page. Click on articles and databases. Uh, sort the databases by title. Go down to the letter F. Click on first research industry profiles. And then just type in the name of your industry. So. Those of you who are doing software development can type in software. Um, the two teams that are working on agriculture can type uh, for, for the drone project and the smart irrigation project. I would suggest looking at agriculture. Um, you know, Baywatch is apparel. Shout is not for profit. Uh, you're just going to type in the name of your industry. So I'll type in agriculture here for an example.
And I simply want you to open up a recent report on your industry. And copy and paste interesting information. I just want you to read through this report, you know, take it all in and copy and paste into a Word document information from that report that you think is particularly interesting for your industry, okay? Send me the Word document. That's what I want for industry research. Uh, financials, um, you know, I did, I went through, uh, Derek, yes. Okay. Get as much information as you can. Well, first of all, the person that I put in the email knows me. That's why I suggested them. But if you're having a hard time getting a, a, a response back from Haley, um, just ask somebody that you think is a, a, a potential target customer for Baywatch, somebody you know, um, and fill it out with them, okay? Does that make sense? Just talk to anybody that you think is a potential customer and, and somebody that's a friend of yours. Okay? Other questions before I move on? Okay. For financials, I felt like I kind of I kind of rushed through that a bit when I did the lecture, so I wanted to go back and show you guys what I want you to do for your financials. Um, if we open up the, uh, the lecture slide on accounting and financial analysis, I basically want you to create a, a spreadsheet and send it to me. So that spreadsheet is going to contain, um, oh crap, it's not in here. Um, so don't go to the slides, I take that back. Go down here to Lecture materials, uh, financials. I'll uh, I'll make this available for you. Okay. I want you to open up this thing that says um, example. Uh, Perform a financials example sucre. Okay. Gonna open up that spreadsheet. Um, I'll send an email with it as an attachment, okay? Does it have to be in a spreadsheet format? Uh, I'd prefer it in a spreadsheet format. But uh, if, if you want to put it in Word, what I'm, what I'm looking for is, based on what your sample customers that you did the customer vignette on said that they would be willing to pay, I want you to make a realistic estimate of what the sales are going to be. And then I want you to use the industry average financial ratios. So you're going to go into um, what I basically want is this income statement sheet filled out. Okay? So for the revenues part up here, you're just going to make estimates of what the revenues are going to be based on what your target customers said they'd be willing to pay and how many customers you think you can find. For the expenses part, <coughs> you're going to go back to first research industry profiles. You're going to scroll down to the bottom of the industry report that you're using. So software teams use the software report. Um, 
Smart Irrigation and uh, Drones used the Agriculture Report. Uh, Baywatch used the Apparel Report. Um, Shout used the, well, you've already actually done yours, so don't worry about it. Um, so I want you to scroll down towards the bottom of that document, and you'll notice towards the bottom of the document, you've got income statement percentages. So for your expenses, I just want you to multiply those percentages times whatever you think your revenue is going to be. Revenue is 100%, and you're going to multiply these percentages by that revenue and put that in your expenses, okay? Um, you don't need to worry about ex interest expense, taxes, and depreciation. I'll take that out of the spreadsheet before I send it. But basically, you're going to fill out the revenues part of the spreadsheet based on what the customers in your customer vignette said they'd be willing to pay and how many customers you think you can get. And then you're going to fill out the expenses part based on the percentages in the industry uh, um, report that you get from first research. Does that make sense? OK, cool. So that's the financials. Um, I'd like there's, there's one other thing I want you to do for financials. Once you have done the spreadsheet, I want you to start thinking about that. You know what? Never mind. I'm going to take that out. Too, it's too difficult to explain right now. Do the spreadsheet. That's it. Just the income statement? Or yeah, just the, in, just the income statement. I'm going to send you a separate spreadsheet that's just the income statement. I'm going to email it to everybody. Yes? For the competitor profile? Yes, I can, I can send all of those around to everybody. Okay, and then finally, for your executive summary, um, I also feel like I didn't go over that very well. Um, I want, so, I want a Word document for your executive summary that tells me one paragraph each about your product, about your customers, about your competition, about the industry in general, and about your financials, okay? Word document, five paragraphs. That's going to be your executive summary. You're welcome, uh, hang on one day, a second, Erica. You're welcome to include uh, vision and mission statement and exit options and harvest option if you want. That's actually in the slides that I presented. But all I really need is one page Word document with those five paragraphs that I mentioned. Derricka, yes. Yes. Um, I want a paragraph about your product. I want a paragraph about your customers. I want a paragraph about your competition. I want a paragraph about the industry that you're in in general. So that's basically taking some of that information that you put in the industry research and just snipping, doing a little snippet. And then um, a paragraph about your financials. Okay? So that pretty much covers what I wanted to go over for the review session. I think that covers everything that I needed from you guys. Derek, yes. Well, can, uh, can it be a little longer than one page? Yeah, yeah. You're welcome to have go over one page. But don't make it five or ten, you know? One or two pages. I just want short paragraphs about each thing, okay? Um, that pretty much covers what I wanted to go over in this review session. I think that touches on everything that I told you guys I still need, and it tells you what I what I want you to do for the quiz, so for the, the, the exam. So that's it for our session today. Um, we'll have two sessions next week uh, just to cover any remaining topics and uh, have a little party on the final day with our suicides and some food. And then we have, yes, we
you haven't gotten um, you haven't heard back from Jonathan about the customer profiles by the end of the day tomorrow or this weekend, email me to let me know and I'll you know, be No, I, I I I believe that he did. I just haven't seen. Come over here, write your name next to it. If he sent them, I, I get write that question on it. a little letter so that you can you can have it for later. Unfortunately, I don't have the charger with me at the home, so I could charge it and give it back to you, but it'll take you have to come back to my, my office hours or something. Is that okay if you just describe it? Okay. Cool. I just need to know if that's what you were looking for or yeah. on each one. Like, you can be like, that one's wrong. Whichever one's wrong, mark it off for me. to be uh, a PNG file in particular, not JPEG. Uh, PNG. Well, when I was going over your webinar... Yes. Hold on one second. Uh, yep. Uh, is there going to... Because there's 11 of us in our group. Is there going to be enough topics for everybody to... Um, say something? Say something? Like, what if there... If we can't come up with 11 things to say? Um, if you can't come up with 11 things to say, then uh, I guess you just won't have all of people talking. And then that person is still going to get credit? Okay. So we were just asking like, Each person in the group gets the same grade for the video. Okay. Try and include as many people as you can, but if okay. you can't include all 11, it's okay. okay. Um, yeah, that's PNG. Um, this is supposed to be um, um, differentiable differentiable X and Y axes and non-obvious information. Okay. Um, this is fine. Um, I'm just like um, this is only partially right. Tech Coast Angels is one of them. The other, like the other two were. Um, I can't remember the other two right now. Okay, that's not them. Okay, um, I didn't think so. This is fine. Um, yeah, I just copy and pasted this one. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I no, did that's that. that's fine. This okay. is fine. Oh, yes. Is class canceled or is class today? Because don't you have the basketball game? Or is that yes? Not? Our next class is canceled today. Okay. Thank you. Lance, what's up? Um, me and Rich here. We're gonna meet with Gary at like six thirty tonight. Mm -hmm. Am I doing a customer vignette on him? Yes. Okay. Well, yes. Like he might be telling you about twenty four hour fitness. Nice. Make it use the. Use what he says to fill out the customer vignette. Yeah. For 24 hour fitness? Yeah. Okay. Okay? Yep. Cool. Thank you. No problem. Um, uh, 
uh, this is not what I wanted here. At all? No, I wanted you to say... Because uh, this information was like lifehack.org and all of these were on that, that webinar, or not the webinar, but the... Um, the PowerPoint? They're in the slides, but yeah. in, the, in the webinar I talked about um, how Yelp and uh, the Facebook page to the organization and things like that are good ways to find information about the competitor. Okay. Um, I didn't know if you wanted that or if you wanted this information, so I was like, just I guess Google. We <laughs> um, talked about Google a lot. I, I did fail up a fair amount. Yeah, so I was like, he probably wants Google. but. Um, I also wanted you to say um, by time period here. Okay. Um, so that's partial? Partial. Or? Okay. Yeah. Um, um, that's not the, the right, like, it's uh, the county business patterns database. Okay. Uh, this one's fine. Uh, this is partially right. I wanted you to talk about partnering with other companies. Okay. Um, that's fine. Um, yes, that's fine. Um, I wanted you to talk a little bit more. Like the, okay. the Wix, the Wix question was worth more points, so I wanted you to give See, me a little I more information that, but there. I wasn't, I wasn't sure, and and. Wix, I've used Wix, you know, for the last month and a half, and that's all really that I, I, I didn't, I didn't know. Um, this is fine, but this one here for web hosting company, um, you need to know the FTP server address. Um, okay. The uh, and your username and password. Okay. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Hey, everybody got a section. Hey,